So for today, we're going to be looking at my Hunter, Titan, and Warlock. Essentially, we're going to be using all of the exotics that Zur is selling this week and make sets out of them. So this is going to be kind of a new thing for me, like basically like a challenge. I could go even deeper and actually use the armor, the legendary armor sets that he's selling as well. But I want to at least like slowly go into this. So for now, we're not going to introduce the legendary armor sets, although in the future we could do that. That sounds like a really cool idea. But for now, we're going to be looking at Oath Keepers for the Hunter, uh, Ursa for your Elsas for the Titans, and Luna Faction Boots for the Warlocks. So let me know your thoughts. How do you guys think I came up with them? I think they're all pretty cool. Uh, I'm not going to lie. In the Zer video, I did say that I was going to like stretch this out during the week to see like what I could come up with. But my Hunter literally came to me like within five minutes. I knew what I wanted to go with because Oath Keepers have, has a very regal look. I'll talk about when we get to my Hunter. My Titan also came pretty quick to me. And my Warlock was the one that actually took me the most time, which is not surprising. Warlock is the one that I suffer the most with but let's look at my hunter real quick so this is my hunter uh immediately once i saw that oath keepers were up i knew what i wanted to do i wanted to do a very regal like not knight but more like royalty i knew i was going for that because uh oath keepers has that look i'm not using any ornaments aside from the warlock just because i feel like the warlocks uh ornaments for Luna faction boots are just that much better so i am letting myself use ornaments but we'll see that's still kind of like a gray area for me so helmet is going to be pathfinders helmet from this season so you can actually get this right now if you want to if you're looking if you're watching this video in a future season then unfortunately this might not be available anymore uh it's one of my favorite helmets hands down it's it really fits the the mold of you look like a knight or royalty or just insert something cool here because it looks really cool the other cool thing is that it has a really good glow it's just that with this uh, shader you can't really see it all that much although i might actually change the shader to a purple one now that i really think about it for the arms obviously we're using the oath keepers this is literally what started it the whole thing and i still i still remain uh I still remain to my opinion that these exotics suck and I want them to get reworked because they're useless. But look wise, I think they're super dope. The ornament is okay. Uh, it definitely looks cool with some pieces, but you have to work around the yellow here because it doesn't change color and the red right here because that also does not change color and up here as well. So I, I like this one just a little bit more if I'm being quite honest. For the chest, we're gonna be looking at this season's Eververse armor and i gotta tell you guys this is the first thing i thought of immediately uh, aside from the boots as well because those two were the, the first things i thought of and i absolutely love and hate this chest piece i love it because it, it it looks very regal it looks like something a knight would wear but the thing i don't like is this lip here i hate this if if this whole like top part was actually filled in i think i would like it a little bit more I'm not saying i hate it by any means because i still love it it's just that that lip part just really does irk me other than that uh i probably could i probably could go with a different shader a different purple but i the reason i'm going with this purple is because the purple on the oath keepers i want to keep at least some purple there uh, because if you guys don't know when you're using it, it actually lights up. So I kind of want to hold that purple. So the boots are Strides of the Great Hunt. It's uh, from Last Wish. It's super dope. I this, These boots have been one of my favorite boots for a long time. Although the weird pants material at the top always throws me off. But I feel like it goes really well with this, with this whole set. Because of right here, the middle has that. Um, almost material as well as this so i feel like it goes really well with this almost looks like a one piece kind of and i really fuck with it a lot uh the only thing that's really annoying uh, if you're going to be using these boots is the fact that the uh the trim here does not change color so if you are going to use this just be aware that you're going to have to work around that it's not hard because there's other armor sets and pieces that have like trim with the same color but just be aware you're going to want to at least match with that or you can ignore it if you want if you're a heathen but <laughs> i really i really like this these boots and last but not least we have the cloak which is from i think last year last year's solstice um event maybe i don't remember i'll have it right here obviously but 
This one is one of my favorites, if not my favorite, if I'm being honest. It just looks really good. The glow is not as bad as, it, as others. So for me, I don't really care about the glow in the back. So I think my whole set really goes well with the, the like, again, the only thing I could pre like pretty much think of is the fact that like, maybe I could use a different purple just because the, the like orange yellow is pretty bright. So like maybe something along the lines of like this, I was thinking about this one, but I didn't like the material here. It kind of looks like jeans or like cotton, no, not cotton. It looks like it's itchy to wear this essentially. So. I I decided on the Imperial Dress shader just because I really love this shader. And for the cloak, I did the Imperial Opulence. If you guys are wondering where you get this, uh, you get this from, it was from Season of Opulence, uh, specifically Crown of Sorrow. So you can get these, unfortunately. Hopefully they bring it back and, or the raid in general, that would be really cool. But that's pretty much it for my hunter. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Again, I feel like I just nailed it out of the park. I could ignore the, the purple if I really wanted to and do something like this, because I do think this looks super fire. But I think I think holding the purple is just way better for me. So let's look at my Titan real quick. So this is my Titan. Obviously, you have the Ursa Furiosas. Now I will say uh this is a this is definitely armor set that I always wear on my Titan. So I am kind of cheating a little because this is not something new that I've ever done. I've definitely done this before. I will say the the mark is definitely something that I haven't done though. So let's look at the armor sets real quick. First one's gonna be Masquer Masquerader's Helm. I don't know where you get this because I don't I, I don't remember ever seeing the purple one because I got the blue one. Uh, this one I ended up getting the blue one but it gave me the purple. Either way, you can get the hard case helm from just any blue resource, but it's definitely one of my favorite helms for the Titans. Definitely has the Titan feel, and I'm very thankful for that because I crutch on this helmet a lot. It's definitely one of my favorite Titan helms uh, ever, most 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 likely, just because it, it really is like the fundamental Titan helmet. For the arms, obviously I'm using Ursa Furiosa. For the funny thing is, I, the shader, the reason I'm using the uh, Genotype Null Zero is because there's orange here, and it's definitely not the same orange, definitely not, but it's enough where like you could trick people into thinking it is. So unfortunately, the shader, you can't get this anymore if I remember correctly, but it's definitely one of my favorites so far. I def I Here's the funny thing. I usually never really wear the uh this uh the ursa furiosas without the ornament this is the one i'm always wearing just because i find that the the orange on the regular or on the regular look of ursa furiosas is just a little bit too annoying and the purple on this because if you guys don't know the ornament doesn't even change colors all of it the purple here st still stays the same and the fur obviously but the other that's not new because the other one did that as well either way the purple is much easier to shader with than the orange which is why i went with the orange look i didn't want to use that ornament again because i've used this on so many sets so i was like i'm i'm gonna try to push myself on this even though i have to i half asked almost everything else but it, the funny thing is i still think it looks super good because i didn't want to use anything round shaped with the exception of this because it doesn't look round when you're like staring at it right there so i wanted to use very angular very like square look because obviously the the arms are like that so for the chest piece we have the sunbreaker plate this is easily one of the best plates that titans have it's super cool if you want to look like a titan this is definitely the chest piece you're going to want to have this you can get this in eververse if i remember correctly uh you can it's 15 bucks so unfortunately you, you do have to spend a uh, silver on it but I highly recommend this chest piece. The only unfortunate part is the fact that I think the chest piece is the only like good part about the whole set. The legs are gross. The arms are even worse on females. The helmet I've never liked and the mark is like okay-ish. So if you are getting this, then just know that most likely you're gonna just use the, the chest piece for this. Boots are from, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of stuff from, uh, <laughs> from uh, War Warmind, the DLC. So this is from uh, Warmind, if I remember correctly, season three. And I don't, 
think you can get this anymore. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Xur sells it one day because this was a world drop for, or it was the armor for, for Mars. So if Mars ever comes back, this most likely will be the armor set that's going to come back. But this is definitely one of my favorite boots. And the funny thing is it's the exact opposite of the Sunbreaker plate. I think the, all of the armor set for the uh, Braytech Snow uh, armor set is so cool. The chest piece is super cool. The arms are super dope. I actually do have them unlocked. Uh, the mark is okay. And the, the helmet is like, uh, like it's not bad, but it's definitely not the best. So these are actually my favorite boots in the game right now. Uh, just because of the bulk of it do be aware that the white here and the gold here do not change color or yellow uh, They don't change colors. So that's definitely gonna be something that people get annoyed about uh, for right for for good for good reason because it's fucking annoying and Last but not least it's the iron banner mark for this season <clears throat> and I Don't know why But I love it. I hate the I hate the the bells even though they look like barnacles apparently they're bells I hate it but I feel like it goes well with the fur, uh, the the orange gold thing, whatever goes really well with everything else. And overall, I think this just looks fantastic. It's one of my favorite looks right now for my Titan. And if I'm ever wearing the Ursa Furiosas, this is definitely going to be a look that I'm going to be looking for. Uh, so much so that I'm probably going to unlock the uh, this right here or just keep or just upgrade this one either way. Let me know your thoughts, Titans. I definitely love this look. It looks super dope. So let's go to the Warlock and then we'll give, I'll give you my final thoughts. Last but not least, we have my Warlock. She looks so cool. So let's just get right into it. First and foremost, I have the Cel Celestine hood from this year's, uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it? Oh my God, what's it called? Uh, Solstice. Yeah, so Celestine hood from Solstice of Heroes. And I love it. It looks so good. I actually, I have, I don't have any more synth weave bolts because I used it all on this and and the uh, mark right here or the bond. So I love this helmet. It's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the ornament or the ornate look is really, really the reason why people got this because it looks so good. It, this is probably one of the best, if not the best, Solstice armors for the Warlock helmet wise because I'm never, I was never a big fan of this one i've always hated it same thing with this one even though it does look a little cooler and then this one definitely super cool the only reason i think this one is a bit better is because this one unfortunately has just cracks um even though it's cool as fuck it's really hard to shade her around it's very hard to combine with armor sets because you could do something like this where i look very regal but i have cracks in my helmet and no cracks anywhere else so that's why I think the, uh, the, what is it called? The Celestine hood is just like the best, not that one. Where is it? This one. On close second, I had this one, which in hindsight, I probably should have done this one. No, I like this one, but I feel like it's not, it doesn't look regal. It, it looks more like a, like a warrior type thing. I don't know. Uh, either way, this one's super dope, I, and I love it to death. It's I'm going to wear this all the time now. For the arms, this is from uh, Vanilla Destiny 2 Eververse, I think, if I remember correctly. The Arms of Optimacy. It's uh, definitely an arm that I've used in the past, and it it's funny, too, because every time I go for, like, a regal, like, royalty type of thing, I always have these arms in my head because they're... I In my head, in my head they look like that. I love the fact that it has this up here so that way it can like really stop the whole thing up here and then re like introduce this. This is what's happening in the arms now because other arms don't do that. And I very much appreciate that those arms actually do that. As you guys can see, uh, most arms just kind of stop right there and it's kind of gross. This one actually has a buffer for both of these sides, which I think is super dope. So yeah, love the arms chest piece so this is where where i kind of lost my shit a little uh the nemean robes i know these robes were going to be super important for me because i actually love the robes but obviously we're using the lace striders and for me the, the chest piece really really makes you look at that leg really makes you see like oh wow like that's damn that's right there okay cool 
and I love it to death. This chess piece is easily one of my favorite chess pieces for the Warlocks. Uh, if you guys have any leg pieces that you want to show off, this is definitely the robe to do it with because it looks fantastic. I, I'm not, I squealed when I fucking saw this. I was like, oh, yes. Uh, I would definitely combine this with other exotics as well, leg pieces specifically, just to see how cool they would look. So like Geo Mags, uh, obviously Lace Striders, other ones that are not in the top of my head, but yeah, this this combination looks so cool. Speaking of legs, let's talk about the legs. So, like I said, I didn't want to use these just because they look boring as shit. And then these are super cool, but there's orange in the knees and right here. So I didn't want to use an orange look, even though the original one was looking like this and I was like, this is cool. Definitely dope. I'm not saying it doesn't look cool because it definitely looks cool, but I definitely wanted to use the lace striders. And unfortunately the lace striders have like this brown red on pretty much like right here on the, on the stitches, I guess you would say. And then right here on the, on the feet, which is why I went with, uh, the shader that I went with, which is bloody tooth. But now that I really look at it, it's not a red. It's more like a brown, which means I'd probably combine it with something like this. Yeah. I mean, it's a little lighter, but it still looks good. I, I that the only reason I don't use raspberry is because it's too white for me. But yeah, last but not least, we got the the bond, which is from the coronation. It's a faction arm so Zer will most likely sell these one day i'm hoping Zer sells the shaders as well because i'm missing the shaders from this faction but this is definitely one of my favorite uh marks for the warlock or not mark bond this is one of my favorite bonds for the warlock just because you have little notes here and it makes it makes you kind of look like a historian kind of thing maybe i don't know uh overall i i think the warlock may be my favorite uh it's kind of yeah, my warlock is the favorite. She just looks so cool, man. Honestly, it's between my hunter and, and warlock. It my titan, don't, don't get me wrong, my titan or my titan super cool. I actually do like how she looks. But my warlock and hunter just look regal as fuck. Like like they're coming out of royalty, dog. Unfortunately, I couldn't do I really couldn't do that with uh with the uh Ursa Furiosas, which is why I went with a very bulky and like like it kind of looked like a bear. <laughs> so let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I definitely love the warlocks. They came out. She came out really fucking dope. The hunters also super cool. I really love how he, how he came out as well. And then Titan not saying I don't love how the Titan look. I really do love the Titan, but it's just another level for these two. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you guys like this idea of challenging myself to use exotics that Zer is selling let me know in the comments below would you guys like to see me incorporate the the legendary armor at least one piece of what he's selling as well let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point and i'll see you guys later